Welcome to iLecture Online. Let's start with the easier part, finding the domain. And typically when you try to find the domain, you're looking for things that x cannot be and typically it's you cannot have a zero denominator. Turns out these four examples here all fall in the same category. They all have a denominator, they all contain an x in the denominator, and so there's a particular value for x that the denominator that would make the denominator equal to zero, which is a hmm, you cannot have that kind of situation, so we need to prevent that from happening. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take each one of these denominators and simply say x plus 2 equals 0. Well, if that equals 0, we have x equals negative 2, which means that this is a prohibitive value. We set the denominator equal to 0. We find the value for x that makes it equal to 0. That's the value that x cannot be, and therefore we can say that the domain is equal to the set of all x's such that x is not equal to negative 2. We do the same over here. We set x minus 3 equal to 0. That means x equals 3. Of course, that's a prohibitive value. We cannot have x equals 3 because we cannot have a zero denominator. So therefore, the domain is equal to the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 3. So it simply becomes, what can x not be? And that's the value we want to prevent from being part of the set. So here we see that when x equals 1, the denominator is 0. So we see that the domain is equal to the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 1. And over here, x cannot be equal to negative 5. So therefore, the domain is equal to the set of all x's such that x is not equal to negative 5. So in each case, if x was that particular number, it would make the denominator 0, and we have an undefined situation. So therefore, preventing x from being that value by simply saying all x's except for that one, that is then equal to the domain. It turns out x can be any other value. You could plug in any other value between negative infinity and infinity, and you get a, 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 an appropriate value for y. Same over here, you can plug in any value for x other than x equals 3, and you get some sort of value for y. So that is how we figure out what is the domain if you're given something like that. So they all have that same thing in common. Look for the value for x that makes the denominator equal to 0. Do you think it would be helpful if you drew like a couple of graphs, or at least a couple of them? We can do that, although some of them are rather complicated when you start having x, and we're going to touch upon that later of how to graph those because then you have some restriction on the value for y so that so the range is a little bit more difficult to figure out that's why we started with the more easy examples but you're right once you start graphing these you're going to end up with a horizontal asymptote that gives you a particular value that you cannot have for y yeah we'll get into that later